G'day guys, welcome back. I'm doing some late night pouring. Well, it's late for me. I don't usually pour this time of night. It's 9.30 in the evening. But I just had this idea and I wanted to come and do it. See, I go to bed about no later than 10 because I get up early with the dogs in the morning. So, oh, I'm going to be going to bed late tonight. Well, late for me anyway, which means I get up late, which means I can't let the dogs out till late. My life revolves around the dogs and around my pouring. Right, let's get to it. I'm going to try for a sunset pour. Now, I'm using my very old cloud recipe. This is about a year old. Two parts flow troll, one part or half a part of Liquitex pouring medium, one part water, and then I mix that three parts pouring medium to one part Liquitex basics. Colours. This one here, I've run out of uh, phthalo blue, so it's primary blue with a little bit of black just to darken it. Um, we have magenta. Yellow, this is the cadmium yellow light. Dioxazine. Purple, love this colour and I'm nearly out of it, turquoise blue and then this one here, a sort of orangey colour, I mixed the yellow with cadmium red deep hue. So those are all three to one. My white is equal parts artist loft white with satin enamels, so I did 20 grams, 20 grams, which is 40, and then I did 40 grams of Floetrol. So equal amounts of white to Floetrol. They don't really leave a mound. I can't, I don't know if I can show you. I'll see if I can show you. It's a tiny little mound. It's very thin. Where's the light? So it's not really making a mound. Uh, the trace over the top goes pretty quick so very thin um, so I'm going to do a straight pour I'm going to layer my colors do a straight pour um, and trying to get some cells cloud mm, not quite sure what it's going to be just yet but um, yeah I just with this one I just layer my colors in once so in goes my blue. I may actually do two layers of the white though, but the rest of them they just go in once. So I'll do half the white and then all the pink. So it's not a lot of paint, you know, it's only 40 grams of mixed paint. It's a bit blobby that one. Some of the Liquitex Basics colors are really difficult to mix in. Uh, the yellow was difficult and the blue was difficult. If you get a colour that goes lumpy very quickly, uh, just put a little bit of pouring medium in. Mix your Liquitex Basics until it's nice and smooth like paste and then add the rest of your pouring medium. That's the only way you're going to get it so it's not lumpy. And a lot of metallics are like that as well, so just try that. A little bit of pouring medium little bit of paint, or all your paint I should say, a little bit of pouring medium, all your paint, mix it up till it's a paste, that way you can get it nice and smooth, like when you're making a gravy, like you don't add all your gravy mix to your liquid do you, you only add a little bit, and, um, and then you mix till you get a paste and then you can add the rest of your liquid, so same same basic theory as that. I have no idea what this is going to look like. I wasn't even going to video it. I was just going to come out and do a little test. But then whenever I do that, and it works really well, and everyone goes, did you do a video? And I'm going, no, I didn't. I was just playing around. So I thought I'd better do a video. That's kind of sunk. Some colours will sink. Some will stay on top. That yellow, the um, this one, cadmium yellow light is a magic cell maker. 
it is amazing if you mix it in with any other color like that it's also amazing <laughs> there we go stay on top right so uh, if you look back on my videos from about a year ago you'll see I used this technique and this pouring medium and these paints but I didn't add any white to it some of my colors I added some satin enamel to like the blue to make a light blue and the purple to make a light purple etc etc but I've never actually done it with a white so we'll see what happens hey I'm keen to see what happens right here we go just a straight pour into the middle I'm just gonna oh goodness me lumps lumpy bumpies Get a little bit closer as my cup gets a little bit more empty just so that it doesn't churn too much okay i'm not sure what that center is going to look like i probably should have ended up with a little bit of a Um, a little bit of a ring pour or something, but it's tricky when you've got such thin paints. I'll just do that. Okay, now let's torch. Pop some bubbles. It's a lot of blue there, isn't it? That was the blue that was in the bottom of my, my cup. really sure what I'm going to be getting here but we shall see now I know that this does take a lot of movement to get some effects up and I need my tweezers so that I can pick out those blobs that appeared I was doing resin on this puppy petal pad earlier and I didn't want to waste it I thought I can get one more pour out of that but it's it's awfully sticky I'm going to do a resin video soon, tomorrow probably. Oh, it's just unmixed paint. Some of the colours, as I said, so they're really, really hard to mix. And um, I did kind of brush it a little bit. Righto, let's see what's going to happen here. Oh my gosh, that's probably not a good idea. Let me get some paper towel to stick on there. Otherwise, I'm going to be stuck to the canvas all night long. There. <laughs> right, you stick down there and we'll see if that's any better. Okay, let's move this paint around. Oh, there's more stuff in here. I don't know that I can get it. I might have to wait until I've tilted a bit because I can't actually pick it up. It's just chunks of paint. Oh, I'm not having a good time. This is sticking. Oh my gosh. I should have just gone to bed. All right, let's just move this. See, now that doesn't want to move. What's in there? Lots of lumps and bumps in my paint tonight. It's pretty old paint too, maybe that's why I haven't used it for a very long time. Okay, um, I'll see if I can tip some of that off because it's doing my head in with all those lumpy bumpies in it. I'll just have to keep picking at it 
as I move this paint around. Okay, so here we go. Trying to move it as much as possible. Um, the movement of it should hopefully get some actions and reactions happening. So I'm just going to move it a little bit. I think I am going to have to take this part off though. Just turn that around and I can tilt it away from myself. Yellow's not reacting as much as I was expecting it to. Maybe I just need to tip some more paint off. Let's get that bottom off that's annoying me. There we go. All those lumpy bumpies. Mm -hmm. tip that off anyway okay let's move that off to that corner now and get rid of those lumpy bumpies so we're getting some white cloudy sort of cells happening where my yellow is I was telling you about the yellow being the magic cell maker and mm, telling lies I can't really tilt it too much because I'm now going to overstretch those big white clouds that I have there but let me just clean my hands and I'm going to torch not quite sure why it's not reacting how I was expecting it to maybe I need to move more paint off the surface let's just have a little look see what happens when I torch popping lots of little bubbles Lots of little white dots coming up. It's like it's snowing. I think I'm just going to have to bite the bullet and uh, tilt some more. It's the reaction of the paint rubbing against itself that usually gives me the cells now I don't mind these little guys up here but let's get some of these white blobs off hey yeah you can go These things are starting to overstretch now that I've tilted a lot. I don't know where more my white, my yellow cells are. I'm telling you lies tonight. <laughs> I don't know why it's not working. Um, maybe because I haven't got my black. Usually reacts with the black. I haven't got my black tonight. Can't really do much more than that. I'm um, not really getting anything else popping up either, which is unusual. I'm getting a lot of white popping up, but my yellow's just not just not coming up to the party tonight for some reason. Well, what, 
can we say about that? Hmm. Interesting. Take it in a little bit closer there. So I've got the sunset colours, that's for sure. But, um, yeah, not quite what I was expecting. See, I shouldn't have videoed it, hey? <laughs> it only works when I don't video it. Oh, my gosh. All right, well, we'll leave it like that. I'll probably get some more little cells and things coming up in the white. That's the, um, the satin enamel that's doing that. It's... It's pretty it's pretty good isn't it for making clouds that's for sure with the uh, with the flow troll so I, I'm not sure if it's going to change a lot more so we'll just see what happens um, but I'll leave it at that and whether or not I like it is another question reminds me of like a, a sea anemone or something like that you know they've got those long tentacle thingies and the fish swim into them and get caught. <laughs> That's what it kind of looks like to me. Let me turn this bright light off. Oh, that's very... Oh, look at that. Here's the true colours. Turn my overhead, my spotlight's off. And you can see the true colours. Hey, what do you think? It's bright. Um, yeah, not at all what I was expecting. Uh, shall I take you down? Shall I? Shall I? Let's take you down. I've only been going for 16, 17 minutes. I've got time to take you down for a little close up, I guess. But yeah, not at all what I was expecting there. Got some pretty colours. like that pop of dark blue there and some of that white has got like a little pinky hue to it so yeah very different to you know my usual pores with cells but I just wanted to try something a little bit different and I haven't done these pores for a very long time I'm very out of practice <laughs> I'll have to I'll have to practice some more but um, I'm gonna go to bed and I'll dream about pouring. I might mix up these colours again tomorrow and, and have another go. Mm, see what I did wrong. Not sure. Okay, well, thanks for watching anyway. Um, you either love it or you hate it, I guess, with this one. <laughs> it's one of those things. It's, it's very different. All right, thanks again for watching. Um, and um, I'll come back around here. And I'll see you real soon for the next one, hey? I'll see if I can improve on this baby. But I do like the colours. So I'll have another go tomorrow. Oh, no, but I want to do my resin tomorrow. Oh, too busy. Actually, I probably can't pour it all tomorrow. I've got people coming to look at puppies. All right, thanks for watching, you guys. I'm off to bed. I'll see you all real soon. Bye for now.